<laughs> I was just laughing. I uh, this is my vlog side over here for the people who come over from the music side. It might be long and might go nowhere, or might just rock your world or something. I don't know. <laughs> I was just laughing. Uh, what happened? Oh, I saw that movie, Lincoln. I downloaded all the Academy Award winning movies. Uh, I've been so busy and kind of out of touch. I, I haven't watched TV or taken a phone call in almost a year now. And I, I used to go to the Academy Awards every year and a lot of the editing for their uh, compilations and stuff that they sell or were done at my studio uh, and I've worked for the Academy and blah, blah. Uh, but I, so I didn't know it was on. I got, I got a list of all the winners and uh, download them. I watched that Lincoln movie and uh, you know first of all I love American presidents and Abraham Lincoln is my favorite you know uh, Washington or Lincoln of course you know Washington was the original tax evader with free thinking <laughs> ideals <laughs> uh, but uh, you know, um, what can I say about that? It, the, first of all, the southern accents, the, the great thing about the movie, Daniel Day-Lewis played Lincoln, President Lincoln, so, as I call him. <laughs> Mr. President Lincoln, if you mind, if you please. Uh, uh, he did an excellent job of portraying Lincoln, mostly. Um, he's, it, that's how I envisioned him quite a bit, but the, they seem like they used every kind of out-of-work actor in, in Hollywood. First of all, I didn't buy all the actors and all the parts, like Sam Waterston. I kept hearing him say, you know, T.D. Waterhouse, you know, will win the Republic, sir. You know, it's just, I didn't buy him. I didn't buy a lot of the actors. Uh, and the accents were really uneven. As a guy who grew up in the South... Uh, and uh, is aware of all the different accents and stuff. Uh, it uh, everybody had a different accent. It's a, and and it's the first I think Spielberg directed it. It's the first Spielberg movie I saw. Uh, I've seen that uh, it's worth seeing, but it's ill directed. It's not well directed. He must be getting old or something. It stayed indoors. And it focused on, you know, a, a vote of the 13th Amendment, which is important, but the Civil War, you're talking about some of the most picturesque and dramatic material you could work with. Uh, and uh, it, uh, um, he stayed mostly indoors and... Uh, I don't know what, I didn't look what one, I just hit a link and it downloaded them all for me. I used to get them all free, uh, sent to me from the academy. And, uh, um, but, uh, yeah, the accents didn't match. I didn't buy the actors. It was too much indoors. It's an epic, and I, I enjoyed it. It's worth seeing, but, uh, you know, I mean, the southern accents reminded me my dad gave us when I was a kid kits where you could build your own muzzle-loading revolver. And me and my brother had, uh, had, uh, I had a, a Derringer muzzle loader that I built and did the gun browning on the barrel and, and drilled it all out and everything. And I made a Derringer and he made a 40, a 45 Derringer, I did. And he made a 45 pistol, you know, and we'd play Southern Gentlemen, so, so <laughs> I had one. My character was called, we'd sit at the uh, phony card table, you know, with, uh, I had my dad just uh, at my side and y'all service. And uh, he had his 45, and my character, all he'd ever say is, is his line was, my name is Claude Colwebaugh. Claude Cold Rapper. And then he'd also say, This is all. It's all he'd say. <laughs> it's messed up. All he'd ever say was, Sir, you are a thief and a liar and most probably a murderer. <laughs> Somehow repeating a thing seems as if it might improve it. Sir, you are a thief and a liar and most probably a murderer. 
<laughs> I'd drive my brothers crazy with that shit because it, you know, that's all he'd ever say. I'd seen that on some, uh, uh, like Southern, uh, you know, gam riverboat gambler movie or some crap, you know. Sir, you are a thief and a liar and most probably a murderer. But the guy was like, murderer. But I'd drive him crazy with that because that's all he'd say. I'd just go do that all day long, much like now. But yeah, you know, it, remi it reminded me that the accents were just wacky. The actors were off. It was too much indoors and too much focus on here, here, yay, the vote. Uh, it's excellent portrayal. The only thing I could say excellent was Daniel day Lewis's link. And, and even then, there were moments I were kind of like suspect. Um, if you want to see a great Civil War movie, there's a movie called Glory that uh, really p captures the whole thing. There's a scene in that movie where there's a kind of a black gospel revival the night before they all, spoiler alert, get killed and uh, they're all singing and it, it really brings to life, you know, what what these guys and this this deal is all about. Glory, it's excellent. I think the same guy, I can't remember his name, Zwick, I think, Edward Zwick directed that, same guy who did, uh, uh, that Tom Cruise in Japan movie, uh, epic samurai movie, um, anyway, I think Edward Zwick directed that, it's, but yeah, it was the first one I saw, I saw Spielberg kind of falter on, it just, uh, I used to be chief of security at AFI and ran into Spielberg quite a bit in the hallways, you know, when he was a lot. We were 30 years younger than both of us. Um, and so, since I do now have a gray beard, I can pontificate on said topic. Lincoln had, uh, I guess his beard was brown. Probably gray. You know, shut up, that damn dog over there. But, uh, gotta take out my trash. So you are a thief in the line, most probably a murderer. Uh, so uh, there's that. Oh yeah, then uh, I woke up first thing this morning and somebody had tried, it's happened like three times, somebody had tried to get into my, uh, oh great, there's a couple of sodas out here. Somebody had tried to get into my Google uh, my YouTube account for my main account where I do music and uh, so I spent the day uh, re-securing that and uh, changing all passwords associated and so on I mean you know unless they could, it, it could be done but unless they could kind of spoof that they're coming from my computer, my IP address. Google's good with security. They'd have to spoof coming from my computer, my operating system, my IP address, my telephone number, uh, and have my password and my email address. So, that, you know, they, they'd they have to be pretty, if they, if they get that, they can have it. They ought to have it, you know. Um, where am I at time-wise? I just like, to, I love the look of that fence. The sun coming through there was kind of neat for a second and it went away. It looks mysterious over there. But, uh, yeah, so anyway. Uh, it, uh, so somebody tried to break into my, oh, the, the point I was trying to make in that last vlog is that and like I say, that movie, my, uh, movie reminded me of something else. Uh, it's like, uh, oh, that's that's that other Civil War movie, Cold Mountain, which is pretty good. So uh, repeating a thing does not improve it. <laughs> uh, but I do repeat things because it seems like sometimes, well, I forget things. I had a brain injury and I'm kind of messed up. And uh, But also... Uh, now, I'll remember this day better in a week than I will today. Nothing wrong with my long-term memory. Short-term memory screwed up. But uh, I remember days I had 20 years ago better than I will today. Or, you know, it takes about 48 hours for them to set in. So, touche, my friend. But, uh, 
I couldn't emphasize enough how powerful these relationships are on the internet. Couldn't say it enough. Couldn't emphasize it. And a lot of people would probably go, yeah, yeah, we hear you. Yes, 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 whatever. These things are, I've been on this thing since it, there, before there was an internet, when it was BBS as it turned into an internet. And, uh, you know, I, I know this because I've been through it a couple of times, but I, uh, in the last uh, week or so, not week or so, even you know, in the last year, but especially the last few months, I've uh, been reminded of that because I've watched some people who watch my vlogs and sort of email me back and forth, don't really comment much, but I watch one person kind of have this whole like relationship with me well, i gotta turn the water heater off i just had my shower my favorite my my big rush of the day i do them two a day now showers i felt so poorly sir uh, um but uh the point is is, this, is that these relationships are really powerful and we only see with the other people a little smidge of video and a little picture or whatever we don't really know these people and so there's a lot of time for us to sort of inject a whole kind of fantasy relationship with these other people that doesn't exist and i've done it i still sometimes do it a little but i'm aware of it but i've watched a few people in the last couple of months i've watched emails fly by me that kind of they're having this whole kind of fantasy where i'm not having anything like that now but it, and it just reminded me and somebody else had went through a thing online that reminded me of and it's uh they were having like a whole kind of fantasy relationship with me and even arguing with me when I was not participating like mailing you know I would see these comments or, or emails flash by me and I'm like oh man he's at that or he or she is at that point oh yeah now they're at anger now they're at denial now they're at acceptance you know just watching this stuff kind of going oh yeah I've been there so anyway uh, it, it's not happening now at all but it, it, it it's powerful and it does happen and I've seen it flash by people have an entire like fantasy relationships with me when that I'm not participating in um, at all and projecting their stuff so anyway that's powerful bear that in mind this whole internet thing it's a whole new way of communicating it's new it's powerful it's mysterious it's wow it's now it's like the golden cow and it's uh, it's tricky to navigate it's it's important for me to realize not to get to involved with any of it and I really don't I just kind of sit back and watch messages flash by and sort of go hi huh, ain't that something I'm kind of uh, I'm busy I'll, I'll look at that in a day or two um, but uh, yeah there's that and uh, it's beautiful out. It's real windy there's that sunny kind of weird shot that came through a minute ago I like it when the sun does like an auto lens flare. But, but uh, 13, yeah, I figured I'd waste 15. I love days like this. Had a real, uh, I'm gonna stop in a minute, I'm out. Out of material. Or like in Lincoln, that was my favorite line. He said, uh, like, sir, like the preachers. He didn't say sir a lot, that would be overdoing it, you know. But he went like, he had just given a total long story and he said, and much like the preacher, much like the preacher said, he would make his sermons shorter, but once he stops writing them, or once he starts writing them, he just gets too lazy to stop. <laughs> the preacher would make his sermons shorter, but he said once he starts writing them, he just gets too lazy to stop. I did like Daniel Day Lewis's inflections as Lincoln, and you know, I mean, hey, I grew up in a house my dad built in basically in the woods, and I had a first grade teacher, and, and uh, so it was he was an inspiring character, gave you something to dream about. One day, you sir might be president of the goddamn United States, boy. He was kind of a hero to me. In all the history of anybody I could meet, it'd be a Abraham Lincoln. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I want to cover that song from Glory. Now, Lordy, they're doing, they're going like they're doing this clap. Excellent. You watch Glory. They're doing this clapping. Now, Lordy, mm -hmm. I don't know 
if I die tomorrow, I'd have the g g good book in one hand and your name on my tongue. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's a great scene. I just love that. Morgan Freeman's in it. So so's Denzel. It's cool. It's a cold shot. So that's my vlog for today. A Lincoln, Southern accents, bullshit, fucked up haters. I don't get them anymore, and I don't respond if I do. That's kind of the point. And uh, somebody trying to cack my count, Lincoln. And uh, I'm gonna watch the rest of the movies. I've been real uh, having a lot of physical symptoms, so uh, I'll probably. I haven't really touched on that much in my vlog, what's really going on, but maybe. So, with that, y'all peace the hell out. That sounded like Tommy Lee Jones. I'm Mr. President. <laughs> so, four score seven years ago, Eric started this vlog. Hoping that all vloggers would one day be free, sir. After this day, this moment in time, and in history, and in the intellect of my own consciousness, sir, they are not free. <laughs> Vlogger without a cause. Yeah, peace out, motherfuckers.